Hi guys, how are you here? In this episode, we are going to introduce our new humanoid robot, Robo H5S. There are the wireless communication module in the head and the lithium battery in the chest. All the parts are aluminum alloy brackets. The servo is a wonder high voltage bus servo. The pad is a rubber foot pad. This is the power charge port and this button is for offline running. The controller includes the MP3 module. When you receive the Robosol F5S, there are some steps for you to get in ready. Step 1, please check the power wire in the button, being connected or not. Then connect it. Pay attention to the color, red to red and black to the black. Use the cable to charge the robot. When we turn on the switch, the eyes will turn to blue. The indicator on the power supply will turn to green when it connected to the robot. And it will turn to green when full charge. It needs about 3 hours. Now let's come to the first part, app control. Before starting, we need to turn on the switch and then connect it to your mobile phone with the Bluetooth. You can download the RoboSoul from the App Store directly or find it in the provided documents. The Bluetooth and the power capacity, we can drag here to control the robot movements, such as to left and to right. Click here to make a turn. Click here to run the corresponding action once. This is the push up. We downloaded the actions into the controller already, so you can call them directly. We also can click here to choose more dance actions. And this is the settings. We can choose different work mode, such as normal mode and working mode. This is the football, play football. This one is the fighting mode. And we can click here to ask the robot to stand up. For the custom button, you can add your programming action groups into the mobile phone app. Let's come to the next part, the PC software. For the PC software, please find it in our provided document and click to download. Before open the PC software, we need to use the USB cable to connect it to the robot soul. When you connect it, the eyes will turn to green. Let's come to have a see of the interface. Drag here to adjust the servo position. You can see there are many bros on the human robot. You can drag to adjust the servo position. They have the corresponding position in the robot soul. Drag here to adjust the servo deviation. And the ID number is the servo number. It's very easy and clear for you to check which servo you want to move on the robot soul. This is the index. There are the data of each servo, such as the duration time you can set it. This is the, this button is for insert the action. And this is the update action. This is update the action data that being changed. Delete the action you choose. For this button, we can click to open the action group file we provided. And save the action file or integrate the action file. Click here to run the action once. And click here to loop the action you choose. Then, please don't forget to save the latest action group into the file in the computer. Reset all the server to middle position. When you program an action group, you can choose the number. And then, don't forget to click here to download the latest action group into the robot. The erase means delete the selected single action group in the controller. And this is delete all the action group. This one click to run the action group once, such as the number 9. And this is the settings of the server. Okay, there are all the information of the H5S. 
PC software. In the next episode, we are going to program an action group called Hero for you guys all. So see you in the next episode. Bye.